Now, due to the fact that Michael Jackson had so much power and influence over music that, let me tell you something, back in the days, black folks were not allowed to own their masters. They weren't allowed to own their publishing. You gotta think Barry Gordy really stepped out there and showed a lot of African-American artists a different way of doing business in this industry because it was a lot of old Jewish people and people who owned businesses who were owning the rights to other people's music were getting writing's credit. I don't know if you've ever seen the Why Do Mo Fools Fall In Love music music movie that portrays Frankie Lyman's life and it tells you that there were people getting paid off of songs they never wrote but their name was in the credits for writing the songs because these black artists they just wanted to be flashy then you give them a Cadillac and they were happy you take them out of the ghetto you let them have a house you let them have something just something and the houses wouldn't even be in their name this is the kind of practices that was going on in music. Michael knew this because he had grown up in the music industry his whole life. He had seen artists that he admired, James Brown, Fred Astaire, you know what I'm saying? And he saw the difference between how Fred Astaire was cheated and James uh, treated and James Brown was treated. Let's just imagine this. You're James Brown, you're the godfather of soul. You've created dance moves, some of the best songs all over the world, your songs are used in all 